Hi there, everyone. I am Senior Airman Nicole Pompey from the United States Band of the West. And today we are going to talk about how to warm up. So what we're about to do is a truncated version of my personal warm ups. And the first and most important thing before we even start warming up is that we actually soak our reeds. Please be honest about this and don't just try to soak the reed with your mouth. This causes the reed to vibrate differently and ultimately doesn't set you up for success for a really good practice session. For the purpose of these warmups, we're going to stick with the lovely friendly bassoon key of F major. So when I warm up, I like to do some types of scales and thirds and fourths, which we'll get into, but I like those to associate with whatever etude I'm about to work on, or for maybe some of you, whatever key the pieces that you're about to work on or an A2 that you're about to work on. So at the end of this lesson, we will also be warming up with a etude in the key of F major. So to get things rolling, we're first going to just play a beautiful big two octave F scale at quarter note equals 60. Each note gets a quarter note. So the purpose of this exercise is for the bottom to sound just as big and rich as the top and vice versa. We want the notes before and after the ones you're playing to sound just as even and connected as possible. We don't want any notes sticking out on the scale. Let's give it a go. So before we move on, I want you to be really honest with how your scale sounded. Did one note sound a little different than the rest? If so, I want you to pause the video after my explanation to work out those transitions because it's really important that we have a nice, big, beautiful, even sound. So say for example, that our high C just sounds a little different than the rest. <laughs> Kind of heard it sound a little weird, right? So what I want you to do is focus on the notes around the C and see what you're doing to make those notes produce a beautiful sound and try to make it as consistent as possible. In my case, it was just keeping my embouchure the same as I did in my B flat. It can be as quick of a fix as that, or you can be having an intonation problem. So if you are having an intonation problem, throw out the tuner, see which way you are, and see how you can adjust that pitch to make everything fit nice and seamlessly. So next we're gonna get our fingers moving. So the music you're gonna see on the screen is just going to be an F scale with no type of articulation on it and a series of triplets. For now, we're gonna ignore what's in the boxes because those are higher notes and we don't wanna worry about those right now. So first we're going to play the scale slurred and then we're going to play the scale tongued. That's just to get our fingers moving and then to get our tongue matching with our fingers. So we're gonna stick with that quarter note equals 60. I'll give you four and we'll do the slur first. Now let's do the tongued version. I'll give you a four. From here, I would then want to change up the articulations in whichever way I'm feeling for that day. Maybe I want to slur two tongue one, 
or tongue one then slur two but that's just to get my brain working in a way that matches up with my tongue and my fingers for now though we're going to move on to our thirds but if you feel like adding some articulations you can pause the video and have some fun with that so in the same manner that we practiced our scales first we are going to slur some thirds and then we're going to tongue some let's do it in the same manner as before we're going to slur first and i'll give you four beats Now let's tongue it, same thing, I'll give you four beats. I would then again change up the articulations or maybe switch to a duple meter and work with some 16th notes and then I would hop to fourths do the same thing but for the purpose of this truncated warm-up we're going to hop straight to our arpeggios so first we are going to tongue some triplets and then we are going to slur in groups of fours for our 16th notes so first we'll start with those tongue triplets I'll give you four and keep a nice beautiful even sound Now, let's try and slur the groupings of four. One, two, switching and jumping to our etude we are going to practice some intervals and that's to just get us and our ears warmed up to different intervals and different jumps with different sounds so for the purpose of this exercise we are going to change our metronome to quarter note equals 100 and i will give you four and our fingers and our brains and our tongues are all jiving on the same level let's go and play our etude so for the purposes of this etude we are going to have the big beat at 50 five, zero, and i will give you four and for now let's just skip the repeats all right let's play
Thanks for sticking around and watching my video. I really appreciate it. If you want to find out about more content like this, or if you want to see more Band of the West performances, please hop on to our Facebook, our Instagram, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You're going to find all sorts of goodies there. Give us a like, give us a comment, tell us what you like, tell us what you didn't like, tag your friends, tag your family, and I hope to see you again soon. Thanks so much. Thanks. At least I've got that going for me. The insides of Hey! Guys. So for the purpose of these exercises, uh, we're going to, oh my God. So for the purpose of this exercise, we're going to use the tempo metronome. Ha! <laughs> oh my god. Right at the top of the bass clap step. Bass clap step. Bass, bass clap step. Ah! 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 Sizes of articulation. What does sizes mean? <laughs> the goal here is to. Hey!